should be where you go. You should not go into a demoralization. We got to get past that. Okay? We are going to learn what work has to be done by seeing where I cannot work, where I cease to function. And so it's going to take you back to your basics, of course. But you are learning things more than your basics. And as I always say, your basics are actually part of the problem. Okay? Um, so we're going to go back to the, to the live environment with the control device and his grip is predetermined. Okay? And we're also going to predetermine that he has a, a spinal displacement kind of pressure. Okay? And we'll keep in there what we were doing last time, so uh, I am not going to predict before he touches me my technique. I'm also, of course, going to practice uh, the non-contestation of my jiu-jitsu, so I'm not going to force the technique. I'm going to harmonize or reconcile yin and yang at all times, um, but we're going to add to that now, okay, some, some strategic uh, elements. Uh, one is that within his first to second step, he is either tilting or I'm in the back. Okay, so that would make this wrong. One, two, he hasn't tilted till three, four. That would be wrong. That will not translate into a more live environment. So I could go here, one, I'm in the back. Or, of course, he tilted. Okay, I got, I got two steps in which I'm no longer in front of him or his spine is already tilting, okay? Um, second one, any throw that you do, it can't be uh, a momentum throw. So I'm not gonna go like this. There has to be some spinal displacement. I'm sorry, some uh, base of support displacement. Do you see that? Because that will uh, not, not never translate into a live environment, but it's low percentage, okay? Um, do you understand what I mean by that? So I'm not gonna go uh, here and he, he takes his role. I have to have some technique where I take out his base. Okay? I either move it in a different vector than his line of gravity, or I prevent it from moving with his line of gravity. Does that make sense? Okay, so those, those are my goals as I go along. A lot of times you can do this with a CoQ projection. It doesn't always have to be that you're taking out his face. Okay? So he's pushing, boom, pop. Okay? Let's, okay. So um, the question is, uh, how do I not make Kaiten Nage a momentum throw? And here I'm defining a momentum throw where his line of gravity and his base of support are traveling along the same vector, okay? So he's pretty mobile, flexible, strong, athletic. Um, let's just have you run out okay, as best you can. Maybe you land on your face or, or, or whatever, okay? So we're gonna go here, and I go. You see? Okay? So I have a couple choices, but all I have to do is make sure that his line of gravity and his base of support are not traveling along the same vector. So first I have two means of doing that. The first means is I stop his base of support. It doesn't travel with his line of gravity. So it can be on the same vector, but I don't allow it to go. The second means is I actually make the base of support travel on a different vector, okay? Then for each of those ways, I have two ways of doing it as well. I can either uh, block or displace his base of support with my base of support, or I can coke you project his base of support onto a different vector.
Okay, so we'll be going. I do get to do that same technique, and when he comes around, I step up. Oh, sorry, I stepped on my hop. I step inside of his base. Oh, so I stop his base support from continuing on with it. This is a good one to know when the guy turns in to you really sharp. So he turns in really sharp, and then you step in. The other one is I'll do the coq projection. And his head will go this way, but his hips will go that way. You see? Okay, so we're doing the technique, and I should never have a rep where he just goes like that. I'm always going to deal with that basic support. Okay? Here we go. Uh, hand positioning is also key, so this is not martial. This is why we handcuff people, so they lose their martial ability. Okay? So you should have awareness of your hands never being in the same plane, okay? especially two planes, but here are three planes I have going, height, width, and depth. They're in the same plane. So I always have a sense of covering my outer rim in different planes. Okay, so when I'm doing a uh, tenshi nage, do you see? Different planes. They come around different planes. Ko kokyo ho, no. So, kokyo ho, different planes. Do you see? Boom, trench. Don't let them tie together. Never like this. This does not translate. You need to have an awareness of covering your body. That he's throwing lots of strikes, and you're covering your body. That you can do your thing. Always cover. Boom. Boom. Tilt. First step. Boom. Boom. So how, well, how do I put him in? Well, I have an inward spiral. And the outward spiral. Like, boom, whoa, trade places, boom. Inward, outward, boom. Okay? Don't put your hands together. It's not martial. No. Okay, some of you are finding this cold green on here. You see this part here? Same thing. Basic support, line of gravity on the same line. So, it will just run out a bit, you see? So again, I have the same thing. I can have his, I have to have his base of support and going in different directions. So his, I can have his center going forward, pop, then it'll work, because his center's going that way when I pull his top down, okay? So some other options, I'm in here and I find, oh sorry. I find his base again. So around, boom. See? One more time. It's just like hook your hole, you find his base here. Boom. Or let go, let go of the arm here. You see? And then you come in here, boom. Have his base again. Okay? So at this speed, um, I want you to understand that it's, it's very. Uh, it's not as easy to have his center going in that direction because it's a slow training. And so you're actually feeling for the wrong thing. When you can tell that their center is not going away from their uh, line of support, you have to be able to feel that so that you would not do what, what I'm seeing. Do you see? You would know I'm going to need to disrupt, displace, or de-vector his base of support. Do you get it? So it's, if, if you're going full speed and the guy's going through, wow, you, you might be able to get the Koku Nugget, but at the slow speed that we're doing, and in Jiwaza, that is the wrong technique because you don't have your center going through. So you're training yourself incorrectly. So yes, this is the key horn, but this, that little thing is not real, and it will not help you. You, you 
you should be able to tell that. So you have to find the, the other things that you're doing in here. Oh. See? Okay, let's go. Okay, so you have some techniques where you have uh, bent the guy on his waist as opposed to tilt him. Okay? The way, techniques where the guy is bent over, his energy went here, so his energy should keep going forward. It, otherwise, it won't be a yin yang reconciliation. So, you know, I go like this, and then I try to shove him back up so I can take him backwards. That would be a, a uh, one is contestation, and it's not yin yang reconciliation. So, you have to watch that, especially when you put your hands together for poke you hold, you haven't bent over, and now you're trying to get him to come forward, to go backwards, you see. That's a no no. Same thing goes on uh, Idi Minage. Uh, you did the Kazushin, you bind him forward, you see, and then you're trying to get him to go backwards, that's a no no. Now, in Chiyuwaza, he has no prescription to do a reaction. In Kihonwaza, I guess if you want to do what if training, you could say a guy's bent over and then he goes ahead and seeks regain his height. Okay, so maybe, maybe you're doing uh, he bends over and then you go, okay, what do I do? I'm trying for Kaiten uh, Nage, but he stood back up. Oh, okay, then I go to so what if training. But in Jiyuwaza, he has no prescription placed upon him. Oh, if he's bending over and, and energy is going forward, she should just keep going forward, okay? So if I'm doing Iriminage, uh, I have the one where I don't bend them forward. But sometimes there's a lot of momentum that's going. A lot of momentum that's going that way. That's where your Tenkan comes in, you see? And then you have to crush your center. So I'll show you what that is. So I come in around. And I drop him, and then I catch him coming up. If he doesn't want to come up, then that's where I come into my other technique. But the whole time, I'm not going to make him go down and then try to get him to come up. So I'm coming in here. Well, he bent down on me. Don't try to shove him back up. Find your, different, find your different techniques. So just open the back up, boom. Well, next thing I want you to pay attention to is we're now going to go to this weird thing. Because we're not trying to do techniques. You got it? This is still energy. Energy that's crossing. Okay? So if you feel like at first you're like, it's because you're stuck in forms, okay? It's still just energy. Energy's coming in, feel the energy, okay? Let's go. Okay, so it's just a mind trick. It's just like a koan. It's, 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 it's your stuck on form that you don't see the, the, the technique. Really, what is, let's say he only grabs one of those at a time. What is that? I ha mi, kosadori, you see? So really, I get a choice of which kosadori I want. You're going to come around and do Ikkyo, you see? Right? Uh, and then you can also uncross, you could uh, uncross the thing. So I come around this, I uncross the thing. Boom. It's only crossed because your mind is crossed, okay? Of course, you, since you have the Kosadori, kosa you, you kind of ignore the hands, right? And you're in here. So let's look at Juji Nage. Or it would be Kokinagi going forward, and where's the base displacement on that? So his leg is going to step in the throw, and my pushy is going to go on this thigh. My pushy is going to go boom and kick that, kick that leg out. So again, I don't, I don't want a momentum throw where he's ahead of me, because he'll just walk out of it. So I stop his base, Ooh. displace his base with your base. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so uh, the original control device was the Ryotedori and spinal displacement. Okay, oh, okay. Well, some of you are 
Now taking away one of our control devices. In Kihon, that's a no-no because we're working on a particular thing. In Jiwaza, let's use it as an opportunity to feel when the technique has changed because, it's the, because the opening has been countered. So uh, you're going to, this will be foreign to you because you usually do what you're told, but you're going to turn away from the technique. Turn, there you go. You see, now he, he's not doing the second prescription. So you're, you're going to try to do this technique. He turns on you. you this is a no-no. This technique is not here. This is not where um, any of the back outward kazushi patterns are. The back outward kazushi patterns have the guy's face going forward, forward, forward. He, does, he can't turn it. So anyone who turns it, it's not going forward. They're countering the, the movement. So you have to feel that, okay? So I go and he turns on me, right? You have to feel that technique. You don't keep trying to do tenshi nage, kokyu ho. It got countered. Got, you got it? Got it? Okay. So I'm trying for my technique. You'll feel it. It just goes yin on you. It just goes yin on you. Just go around, right? You have the same base. Base problem. So I uh, hear you turn, okay, keep going around, come in, whoop. find a base, displace it. Okay? Here we go.